everybody, welcome back to Monster Motorsports Diecast Racing Network, home to the Pacific Rim Speedway. I am your host, Rubber Toe, and we are broadcasting atop the Yomatsu Harasakai Tower, and it is round two of the quarter finals of the Just Say No to Tampo's Diecast Racing Tournament. Our last two groups, we are going to be running the rim tonight to see who the final four will be to join the other four drivers in the semifinals and finals, which will be airing next week. So without further ado, let's get on with our driver introductions. First up, we've got Bay City Daryl from Bay City Diecast Racing out in California in that white Camaro, followed by Arlo from Arlo Racing in that silver DeLorean. He is the man about coming back from time, let me tell you what. And Marquista in that blue Jaguar from M&M Diecast Racing League. And last but not least is Cole Trickle from Commotion Diecast in that black Impala. And here they are at the top of lap one. You've got Daryl and Arlo in the front row, Cole and Marquista in the back row, and there they go. Daryl out in front, followed by Arlo. Daryl hits the whole shot, hitting around the helipad. Cole challenging Arlo. Daryl spins to take first place, followed by Arlo and Cole, and oh, no, Marquista is down up there by the watchtower. Didn't even get past gate one. Let's check out the replay here. Oh, wow. And Marquista goes down right where Ha Then Sung went down just last week. And there's nobody pushing him, nothing touching him. And he just hops up and flips over high side as the rest of the pack move on down and around. Here, Cole tries to challenge Arlo around the lair for second. Daryl almost flies off, but Arlo able to hold off Cole Trickle. Here are the results after the first lap. Hopefully, Marquista can tune it in. Now he's on the inside row, back row with Arlo, front row, Cole and Daryl, and here they go. Cole out in front. Oh, Marquista just went down again. Oh, Daryl passes Cole. Cole goes down. Here comes Daryl around the Kaiju's lair to take first. And Arlo was right behind him. Where'd he go? There is Marquista almost down in the same spot, but now on the inside lane up there near the watchtower. Cole is up on his lid over there at gate three. Where is Arlo? Oh, there is Arlo. Nose end in the lair. Wonder what happened there. We're gonna have to check out the replay to see what happened. Here they come around the watchtower watching Marquista. Wow, this time he doesn't high side. He noses in and Cole cuts it too soon on Kickapoo Pass. Here's a slower replay right there. You can see Marquista hop it again. Inside lane, now outside lane or outside, inside, whatever. Cole takes it too low around Kickapoo gets spun around, Arlo able to avoid him. Arlo challenges Daryl on the backside. Oh, it looks like Arlo just blew a tire right there on the middle straight. And he could have had an easy three points if he just finished after two laps. Wow, Daryl has a commanding lead, but between Arlo, Marquista, and Cole Trickle, they still have a chance to get that second spot. And here they go for lap three. Marquista out in front. Marquista flips again. There goes Cole and Daryl. Daryl flips in the helipad. Here goes Cole being the solo finisher for lap three, triple DNF. Oh no. The lap prior, Marquista flipped on the inside lane but was in the back row. Flips now inside lane on the front row, holds up Arlo and Daryl on his lid in the middle straight. Here we go with the replay. Same spot, Marquista, there must be something going on because all the other cars are getting by, but Marquista needs to check out the camera, the handling something. It's just unfortunate for Arlo, he was behind 
Marquista. Here they come around the helipad, and Daryl just flips on the high side. Doesn't even look like he comes in contact with Cole Trickle at all. So here they go for the fourth and final lap. Arlo and Marquista on the front row. Cole and Bay City Daryl on the back row. You know Cole is worried about Marquista being in front of him right now. And here they go. Arlo, Marquista on front. Marquista gets past the watchtower. Arlo out in front. Daryl spins around. Arlo's going to win this one. Followed by Daryl and Marquista finally finishes. But where is Cole? Cole is upside down. Well, on his, looks like his driver's side door in the helipad. Let's check out the replay. You see Daryl spin around, and it looks like Cole just hits the brakes, goes sideways. He might have blown a tire or hit something. Not sure what caused him to go sideways. Lost all his momentum going to the helipad and comes to a stop right there. Arlo spinning around to take first, followed by Daryl and Marquista. And Bay City Daryl and Arlo will be moving on to the semifinal race. Here they are, ladies and gentlemen, Arlo from Arlo Racing and Bay City Daryl from Bay City Diecast Racing Network. We're going to be taking a short break. Don't go anywhere because we'll be right back for our next group. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Here's the next group of drivers. Diego Roman from Diego's Diecast in that Honda Civic number 24, followed by Cupcake from Rust Belt Customs in that Datsun 510. And, oh, Big Romy in the Magic 8-Ball driving that black Escalade for Rivera Racing. And last but not least, Chet Hell Chit from Commotion Diecast in that Ford Mustang. Here we go atop for Group 2. Wait, what? Cole's still on the track. What? We gotta get, we gotta stop the drivers. Cole can't be on the track. Stop the drivers. Oh no, there go the drivers. Oh no, this is not gonna be good. Hope the spotters can radio them. Here they're trying to stop. Oh no, they just crash right into that Impala in the helipad. Oh no, look at the carnage. Looks like, uh, man, Big Romy was the only one that was able to stop early. I am hoping Cole was not in that car when it crashed. Please stand by as we take a quick break. Monster Motorsports, in collaboration with Glenn's Car Creations, are bringing you a new Monster Motorsports Diecast Racing t-shirt. This t-shirt is what racing at the Pacific Rim Speedway is all about. Get your t-shirt at the Monster Motorsports Teespring Shop today. All right, we are back and fortunately Cole was not in his car when they crashed. Let's see if we can start this lap over again. Diego and Big Romy in the front row. Here they go for lap one and they are off. Diego's out in front. Big Romy takes second. Big Romy goes upside down. Big Romy is out and leaves Diego and Cupcake the only ones to finish. Oh no. Chet held Chit got stuck behind Big Romy over there at the lair. Let's see what happens. You see the Escalade get high going through the helipad. Cupcake able to get by, but it looks like Chet is unable to get around that big SUV. They both come to a stop in Kaiju's lair. That is unfortunate for, for Chet. Up front, we've got Diego and Cupcake. And in the back row is Chet and Big Romy who need to get some points on the board. And there they go for lap two. Diego, and, oh, Cupcake hits the hole shot. Heading around Kickapoo. Oh no, did Big Romy go down again? Look at this finish. They are bumper to bumper as they come around to the finish line. Wow. Oh, there's Big Romy. I thought, I thought Big Romy crashed. It looked like he crashed. Let's see that finish. Cupcake in first, holding off Diego Roman for second and Chet for third. Here it looked like 
it looked like Big Romy crashed, but he actually just spun around and almost comes to a stop there in the helipad turn. Oh, and he's just able just to keep going. Well, one point is better than no points. I'll tell you what. All right. After two laps, or is that one lap? Yeah, after two laps, here's your standings. Oh, you got Diego and Cupcake tied with eight points. And Cupcake and Chet on the front row. Chet looking for a win here. Chet's out in front. Chet gets the whole shot followed by Cupcake and Big Romy. Cupcake trying to challenge. Wow. Oh, no. Big Romy flips right there at gate six coming out of Kaiju's lair. That is unfortunate. Here they come around the sewer vent. Chet able to get that whole shot right in front of Cupcake. And Cupcake trying to push Chet out of the way. Unfortunately cannot. Big Romy tries to muscle his way around Cupcake. Cupcake shuts the door and forces Big Romy to flip over on his driver's side door. Unable to finish another goose egg for Big Romy. Here are the standings, but don't count out Chet. It is still possible for him to move on with him being in the front row with Big Romy. Here they go, Big Romy out in front. Big Romy gets the whole shot. Diego cuts off Chet. Big Romy's gonna take the win, followed by Diego. Oh, oh, Chet crashes at the finish. Did he actually cross the finish line for two points or did he get a DNF? And Cupcake, nowhere to be found. There's Cupcake, DNF in the helipad turn. This might prevent Cupcake from moving on. We have to see this replay. Wow, it looks like Chet just barely hits over and breaks the plane of the finish line. You can see here he actually tags the sign, which is on the other side of the finish line. Wow, so he will get the two points. Look at there, in the helipad turn, Cupcake just flips right over wow this got to make the replays of the week on the diecast racing news and diego roman and cupcake even with that dnf are moving forward to the semi-final round here are your winners from tonight arlo from arlo racing bay city daryl from bay city diecast racing diego roman from diego's diecast and cupcake from Rust Belt Customs. These are the four joining the other four, Big Daddy, Davis Jenkins Jr., Idiot Luggage, and Fern in the finals, moving on to next week. Wow, wow, what a crazy night of racing. It was unfortunate that Marquista was just having trouble in turn one, it didn't matter what lane he is or what position he was. It just flipped over, but finally he was able to get his car tuned up to make it down. But unfortunately, those three DNFs did not help him. And what a crazy, crazy turn. A uh, crash, actually, not a turn, a crash for Chet Hell Chit from Commotion Diecast right there at the finish. And do not forget, if... You happen to see Scrapper, a rogue Jaeger, anywhere tonight in the broadcast. Be sure to comment below on his location so we can forward that intel to the Pan Pacific Defense Corps. And check out one of our good friends, Glenn's Car Creations, who created this t-shirt right here. Wonderful, great artist he also uh we did a collaboration to do that monster motorsports uh diecast racing t-shirt that you saw earlier on the break and yes cole trickle was not injured during that crash he was actually out of the car fortunately so don't forget Give us a like, subscribe, comment below, and hit that bell notification so you do not miss any future content 
from the Monster Motorsports Diecast Racing Network. I have been your host tonight, Rubber Toe, and we just want to wish everyone a safe and wonderful evening. And don't forget, keep your wheels on the road.